G'day Doggies fans, all things Bulldogs. It's a new breed series and another new recruit. Poasa Fawama Silly. He's 28 years old, turned 28 on Valentine's Day, 14th of February. And hopefully uh, the Bulldogs are his Valentine this time. He has been at quite a few clubs, kicked off his career at the Roosters. Won a uh, Toyota or a Holden Cup under-20s comp with that side. So uh, he's been part of that system. He was there for a while. Uh, in his five years of first grade, which he debuted in, I think, 2018, he's played about 40 to 43 games, something like that. Uh, most of them with the Roosters. Played a fair few with the Dragons. Um, he also played with the Warriors. Went to the Dolphins last year before now ending up at Canterbury. Now, he starts on a development contract, which there'll be a chance for him to get upgraded this year early if, he, if he's able to earn it. And due to the new rules, he will be eligible to play first grade from round one from that development list. He uh, is, um, they've already franked for him to be in the top 30 for 2025, but we will see if that transpires. Um, all indications are it's looking pretty good. Um, we've got to, he put himself on notice with the Canterbury fan base with uh, a really nice um, display. He started the match, which was, was a surprise, uh, in the lesser trial. But he went out there and uh, really uh, put his enforced his will on the game. I love the way he defended. He hits hard with the shoulder. He did some massive hits, um, which hurt the opposition defences. And that, we don't see enough of that from Canterbury. Even the likes of Tavita that was there and the Luke Thompsons and, and the like, um, they really didn't, you know, have enforce their way with their defence at all. I rarely saw any big hits or anything like that. I really like the way that um, he used the shoulder. He got down low and, and hit really hard. Um, carrying the ball, he ran with vigor. He ran strong, hard, straight. And he, uh, you know, the play of the ball speed was okay. That's probably an area he needs to work on. But um, he got us moving forward and he nearly scored a fantastic try. And he actually set it up with a fast play of the ball. Um, so just steaming onto the ball 10 metres out. And, and nearly crashes over. Many thought that he'd scored, and then you know, the Marnie from dummy half um, was able to then uh, um, get a try assist out to young Eli Clark. So Poasa, he's uh, definitely someone that we need to fire. We need players like him. He's about six foot two. He's um, 108, 109 kilos. So he's got. That's a nice, athletic, strong build. Uh, the problem is, is he's probably going to gas out after about 15, 20 minutes, and we need him to really uh, lift that impact. But if he's someone who can start our games of rugby league and and play a really strong 15, 20 minutes from the start, hold up that middle, then we can bring the likes of the Josh Currens, the Sam Hughes on to um, really add to that energy because they've got that, um, you know, they, they have that energy, they're very fit, and they'll have that slight sting out of the defence, which is something that um, a lot of teams need from their bench. So I think Poas is going to play a huge part for us this year, or um, barring injury. Obviously injuries and, 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 and other little things that I'm not sure about. Don't know what issues there's ever been, um, like off-field or anything like that. Haven't heard anything like that. So don't know much about Poasa, but I thought I'd give you as much info as I could on him from what I could um, research. And yes, we're looking forward to him having a good year. And hopefully for him and for the dogs, he um, is able to establish himself as part of this rebuild. At 28 years old, he's not a spring chicken. But in saying that, although he's only played 41, 42 games, he's been in some pretty good systems. He's been around some pretty good players. He's got a huge list of teammates that he's had in his career. So he's learnt from a lot of people, you would think. Um, so he'd have quite a bit of knowledge. It's just about how he can apply that knowledge to his game and how he can go about and get things sorted for the Bulldogs and for himself in 2024 and beyond. Anyway, that's Poasa Fawar Masili and go the dogs.